All right, so we are back. This is kind of our part two, but this is going to be more of like a kind of comments. They're not necessarily, most of these aren't hate comments. I had a couple of those ones that are just, oh, you're stupid and this is dumb and you're just selling Royal Purple and we'll get to that. Um, but we're going to start here. This one, this one is a BMW bash because a lot of people have been bashing the car that I've been driving. He says, typical BMW breaks down immediately after an engine rebuild. Now I did reply back to this comment. It was just interesting. My fuel pump failed. Um, I don't know how much you guys know about engines, but fuel pumps over here, engines over here. I rebuilt the engine and my fuel pump died. Uh, this next comment here is, um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to read this as best I can. He says, money, money. And then the little emoji with the money bag in it. You don't need any of this products to clean your engine. Sea foam lake foam zart foam zert foam big 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 money making market adding more poison to the air and water non of engine needs any liquid to make better performance non go change part or vehicle I don't even know <laughs> oh my goodness I, I don't I, I really don't know I I I've, I Next. <laughs> I've actually gotten the two of these, surprisingly enough. Um, I, w I would assume that, that most of the people new to my channel would go through and watch some of my older videos. They're not that bad. Um, but I, but somebody here said, I almost puked when I saw an intercooler on that NA rice car. Um, my car is not NA. It has a 52 millimeter active auto works pro charger kit on it when the full onion is applied that car is doing 13 psi 400 horsepower and 401 pound feet of torque i might have those numbers backwards but it's basically 400 400 this one right here again <gasps> another bash on my bmw race car question mark question mark where na6 isn't fast anyone can polish a turd well, it is a six cylinder, so there's the only thing right in that statement. So actually, here, I'll throw up a couple pictures of my car when I first got it. It was a turd. It was actually, every time I see pictures of it, it makes me super sad because once upon a time, somebody paid $38,000 for this car and mm. the third or fourth, maybe fifth owners just beat it down. As and a when drug I got, runner. Yeah, as a drug runner. And I did my best to bring it back. And, and yeah, it was... It was a turd. Can anybody polish a turd? I don't know. Is it a turd now? I wouldn't, no. I wouldn't say it's a turd now. This is all biased. This is sponsored by Royal Purple. Don't we wish? Yeah, I wish. Hey, Royal Purple, if you're listening. Sponsor. sponsor. Yep. Of course, doing oil flushes is going to clean your engine regardless of what you use. Royal Purple has been proven in many oil black labs to be absolute garbage. It is overpriced. You poured it in and quickly changed it. If this video was true, the whole world would do it. Um, I am not sponsored by Royal Purple. I, I I love that he states that. This is sponsored by Royal Purple, period. It is not. Um, I am not sponsored, uh, at, at least at the time of this recording. Again, Royal Purple, if you're listening. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how to respond to this necessarily, but um, no, wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. Maybe the whole world should be doing it. And maybe the whole world. If you're taking care of your car, you should be able to run any oil you want as long as it's the correct weight. Dude, you are so full of sh Stop crap. Everyone knows that you are trying to sell us your product. I am not on the board of Royal Purple. I don't own any stock in Royal Purple. Um, may, I'm trying to sell you my channel. Subscribe. Uh, Patreon. Download. Patreon. That I'm trying to sell you guys that maybe, but uh, I'm not trying to sell Royal Purple. I really was just reporting my findings. Yeah, <laughs> on to the next one. <laughs> yeah, here's another here's another BMW one. Okay, I don't care how good your oil is. You're still driving a BMW turd. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> on. I wasted my time watching this video. And so then you took the time to comment. Thank you for the view. Click Clickbait squad. squad. Yes. All right. So Royal Purple Part Three. Uh, the reason that people are keep saying that this title for my video, which says, did Royal Purple ruin my BMW engine? The reason I asked that question as a title of the video is I had everybody and their dogs telling me, hey, put Royal Purple in your car, it's gonna ruin your engine. It's gonna ruin your engine, it's gonna ruin your engine, it's gonna ruin your engine. Did it ruin my engine? No. If it would've, I'd addressed it in the video and talked about it. Is this clickbait? It's a little grabby, but I asked a question, I answered it. No, my engine did not get ruined. This next comment says, stupid. Okay. I hate that engine. Garbage N-series. I'm not sure what N-series is. 
Um, I love the engine. If you hate it, then don't buy it. If you don't know how to work on it, don't buy it. If you're going to complain about it being fastidious and having to go to a mechanic because you don't know how to work on it, don't, don't buy, buy it. it. Maybe Lord. maybe he meant garbage M series. Um, I wish it was an M. Yeah. So this one's got some grammatical issues, but we're going to try our best. Ha 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 ha. The jerk who recommended the oil that destroys his BMW. Um, I'm assuming he, he means me. Which is a car for really people works at o'reilly's and prior to the video guess what ad i got on for oil from o'reilly oh 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 no my car fell apart and i'm assuming he's referring to the o'reilly commercial there i don't i don't work at o'reilly my car was not destroyed by royal purple my car was destroyed by somebody who thought they were a mechanic and ruined the alignment dowels on my engine block therefore causing my transmission to have issues and that's why my clutch fell apart that's basically it. No, Royal Purple did not ruin my engine. People that don't know how to work on cars ruin my engine. <laughs> said, this looks so fake. This isn't really, these will kind of get a little bit more tender as we move along. I deleted the ones that were really bad because I don't want to bleep the heck out of my video and get it demonetized. So these are going to get a little softer as we go along here, but it says this looks so fake. It does look fake. And that's why I, I was shocked when I saw how clean these engines were after this Royal Purple that I actually ended up calling him. I pulled the valve cover off and I just, I stopped. And then I ended up calling him. So yes, it does look fake. Is it fake? No, it is not. So I'm going to use the nicer comments out of this one, but I've had a lot of people ask me in the Royal Purple Part 2 video, did you forget the cam cover that goes over the intake cams? On video, yes, I forgot it. Off camera, no, I didn't. I didn't leave it out of the car. It is on my car and now I didn't forget it. Now this was the nicest one of it. Uh, a lot of people were saying, oh, you're stupid. And he said, did you forget to install the small windage cover? No, I did not. So I'm just gonna take the first bit of this. He says, Royal Purple is not the best oil face palm emoji. Uh, I never said it was. I'm just saying that it was, it, it, worked, for, the engine. it worked for me. So uh, O'Reilly and AutoZone mechanics give out false information. Well, he told me what weight to use and I asked for a nicer oil and he said, I've heard things about Royal Purple and use it myself. And I said, okay. Oh, I wanna go over this one real quick. Somebody was saying, that BMWs are made of cheap plastic crap and then continues to give me a list of all the things and then starts to talk about Volkswagen. This one bugs me just a little bit. I don't get like heated about it, but um, Volkswagen and BMW have nothing to do with each other except for where, what country they're from. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be like, I owned a Chevy one time and it was garbage, so I would never own a Ford. They have nothing, they really have nothing to do with each other. In fact, they are like, Rivals? They are absolute rivals. Volkswagen, Audi, BMW, Mercedes, they are they are cutthroat rivals to each yep. other. Oh, the new infomercial of Royal Purple. Again, Please. Royal, Royal Purple? Yes. <laughs> this one got under my skin just a little bit, and I probably shouldn't have baited, but he said, BMWs break down all the time and are more expensive than Lamborghinis. And uh, <laughs> just, I hope everybody out here knows that there's never been a BMW more expensive than a Lamborghini. Per the time frame. And if you know of one, please quote and show me because that's news to me. Anyway. And then so I responded, if that were true, I would own a Lambo. What bridge do you live under? Referring to the fact that he's a troll. <laughs> he's under a tr bridge trolling because, wow. <coughs> what does he say back? The bridge that does not contain cars that have electrical issues as a rule. Look on YouTube alone for BMW reliability. How many BMWs have you owned? Nine. In all the time I was in a shop, an independent shop, I worked on none. We will go over this in another video. I would like to address this topic again and just kind of go over our reliability experiences with BMW. Again, I have owned nine of them. A Lambo is not cheaper than a BMW. Don't listen to everything you read on the internet. So we appreciate everybody for watching that. We'll end our hate comment section. I know some of these weren't as like intense. We kind of filtered a little bit of those yeah. out because I didn't want a whole bunch of bleeps and, and uh, stuff on my video. I don't want to get demonetized, but... If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Leave some more hate comments. We'd love to go over some more of them. We, uh, we, thought, <laughs> they were, of them, we thought they were pretty funny. So Some of them stagger me that the comment is even, how do you even, Lambo's more expensive than BMW? That still burns me. How? No, I, don't, I don't know. He's, he really is just trolling. I think maybe he's missing a zero or two. So we appreciate everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video.